Let me also um, commend Germany for their belief in Kenya and their belief in our continent. You supported the participation of Africa in the G20. I have just briefed Chancellor Scholz that um, we are undertaking a comprehensive reform of the institution of the Africa Union so that we can make it much more fit for purpose and we can align it with the requirements and the dictates of this century so that the African Union can represent Africa much more effectively, can provide a mechanism for the world to help us support and intervene in situations of instability in our continent, but also provide a framework for the huge opportunities that exist in Africa, from renewable energy to natural uh, mineral resources to our huge human capital resources and to the 1.4 billion African market for us to be able to do business together. I have um, briefed my good brother, Chancellor Scholz, um, that Africa is ready, Kenya is available for us to work together to forge um, a better world. Our participation in this year's uh, Citizen Festival is a testimony that Kenya and Germany are great friends. Germany became the first country to recognize Kenya's independence. Today, again, Germany has invited Kenya as the first non-European country to participate in your Citizens' Festival. It speaks volumes of the firm foundation between our two countries and the friendly relations between the people of Kenya and the people of Germany. Let me underscore that as, uh, as Kenya, there couldn't have been a better destination for German investment and German business and German trade than Kenya. And I will give you only three reasons why. We have some of the best human capital resource anywhere in the world. And German companies numbering about 120 in Kenya will speak for us. Number two, we have established a business framework, an investment framework, a trade framework with our special economic zones, export processing zones, to make sure that we create the necessary environment to encourage business, investment, and trade. And also, as um, you all know, 93% of our grid is renewable energy. If you're looking for a destination to decarbonize some of your industrialization, the destination is Kenya. We intend to make our grid 100% green by 2030. And we will be partnering with Germany as you establish the hydrogen facility and office in Nairobi for us to use German technology, German expertise to unlock our renewable energy resources that would help us produce fertilizer and other green products including iron and steel. And I want to invite Germany to join the Africa Green Industrialization Initiative that brings together now 11 countries in Africa for us to combine the available resources, opportunities in Europe with the resources available in Africa. So I want to appreciate uh, uh, this moment and look forward to the Citizens Festival later. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The agreement we've signed today, we've witnessed the signing today, is a very important agreement. We've negotiated this agreement uh, over the last one year. All factors necessary for ensuring that this agreement benefits Kenya as much as it does Germany have been taken into account. 
it covers an array of areas. It is not limited to any particular area. All skills that are developed in our technical vocational uh, institutions, which, by the way, mirrors to a great extent the technical education here in Germany, and part of the agreement that we have made in this uh, partnership is to twin and to provide mechanisms for ensuring that qualifications from institutions in Kenya mirror qualifications in institutions in Germany so that there is ease of um, transfer of skills and labor into uh, the job market. Let me also underscore that part, as part of this package, uh, we will explore opportunities of uh, the German language also being um, expanded in reach in Kenya to provide for ease of communication as we build this ecosystem of relationship and partnership. And finally, as to whether this will affect our industrialization agenda in Kenya, I want to assure you that um, we have skills, we have developed a huge human capital. As you may be aware, Kenya is a young country. I think our median age is uh, 19 and a half, maybe 20. So we have a huge um, uh, bulge of young people. Uh, if I give you an example, yesterday we advertised for uh, some opportunities in Kenya. We require 20,000 people, 140,000 people applied. So that tells you we have a huge uh, young population that not only can satisfy our industrialization agenda in Kenya, but can be made available to industrialization here in Germany. And therefore, there is no risk whatsoever as to the migration of labor into Germany undermining our own uh, industrialization and progress. In fact, it will provide an avenue for us to tap into the skills in this, uh, in this country, the technology in this country, and create a better people-to-people -people relationship.